It weighs 3 pounds, transmits electrical signals at more than 150 miles an hour, and has been called the most complex object in the universe. Researchers, such as those at the Krasno Institute for Advanced Study at George Mason University, have only just begun to delve into the mind-boggling complexity that is the human brain. One of the big challenges in science today is to understand and characterize uh, the complexity of the brain down to its cellular constituents. A portion of the brain that is particularly interesting is called the hippocampus. Uh, the hippocampus, from the functional point of view, seems to underlie both the consolidation and the retrieval of long-term memories. A typical example is the retrieval of a childhood memory. Uh, you can remember what happened in your seventh-year-old birthday, and you can remember faces and expressions and what uh, your parents did and what friends were there, etc. And as you retrieve that memory and to a certain extent relive that experience, uh, the hippocampus is putting the parts together. So how does one even begin to map the hippocampus? The classic way to do science is reductive. You start with something complex and reduce it to its parts. You experiment with these parts to understand how they work individually and together. In case of the brain, its cells are unlike any other in the body. Neurons are tree-shaped, with many branches, allowing each neuron to form a complex network to communicate and exchange information with other neurons. The question that one uh, can say we're after is to understand how the complexity of the branching of these trees uh, gives rise to the complexity of the connectivity of the network and how that allows for uh, interesting uh, behavior and function. Discovering the complexities of these networks takes place under a high-powered microscope. Trillions of cells are traced individually and simulated into three-dimensional computer models which allow the scientists to test how cells may function. The data are captured with a software that extracts the precise measurements of each cell structure. It is then stored in an online database that is shared with researchers worldwide. While these discoveries provide insight into the inner workings of the brain, they also offer neuroscientists clues to possible treatments for neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, as well as to the advancement of future machines. So understanding how the hippocampus works as a system will allow us uh, in the future with uh, the creation of better machines. A lot of what the human brain can do and the mammalian brain can do, the computers cannot yet do. For example, understanding the gist of a situation or uh, the ability to retrieve a memory from a, a huge array of memories based on context, based on a cue, based on will that computers are not able to do and just imagine the kinds of machines that we might be interacting with if they were.